what happens when your work is looking great, you've met the design requirements, but then the rules change. Welcome to episode four of the Concept Art Playbook. I've teamed up with a game designer to create a series of 30 concept art challenges to tackle. Today we're dealing with an unexpected curveball and how to react. Now normally I like to plan these videos a little bit ahead of time and you know, kind of figure out what's gonna work, what's not gonna work, so that you don't have to sit through that. Well, I decided to be more realistic for this one to be just as surprised as you are by this curveball. So Ryan, the design department, gave me uh, some new feature that the spider drone needs to include. And here we go. The spider reference turned out to be a little too on the nose. There's too many games with spider drones. We think it's gonna be a lot creepier and unique if the Black Widow reference is more subtle. Okay. <laughs> cool, thanks Ryan. So a spider that's not a spider, good. Well. Whether or not I think that there are too many spiders in video games or whether or not this particular spider drone would be improved by looking less like a spider, none of that matters. This is the job right here. I had something, it was going well, people agreed on it. Well, now it's got to tweak a little bit. So the question is, what does he mean by this? I mean, I understand at face value, he says, make it look less like a spider. But I also know that I need to keep all that kind of functional underpinning that we had before. So what's my strategy here? I can't make it a spider, but I still do want it to check all of these boxes. And really, this is a great moment to bring back that Codenames game. Remember this one? The idea was to link seemingly unrelated ideas with a unifying concept. And here what I want to link are these functional requirements to a different animal. And the spider was really useful because it had these automatic associations with it. We understood that a spider is going to climb on walls or that it might be able to hang from the ceiling. So what other animals might have similar traits? And focusing here on the gameplay ones, there are lots of animals that could jump and bite. But I think it's this one right here. Climbs on walls and ceiling. There's not that many animals that do that. So I think that's where I'm going to start because that's going to be the trickiest bit to attach to a different animal. But which animal should I pick? I could do a uh, snail, I could do a gecko, frog. How do you approach a challenge like this? Well, what I would really ideally like is an animal that's gonna require as little rework as possible. Because remember, we're in a game studio right now and I think it's likely that I'm not the only one who's put in work onto this creature. Which means that starting from scratch is gonna be pretty expensive. So anything I can do that is as painless as possible is really good for everybody. With that in mind, here's what I came up with. This is an octopus, not a spider. And here's my thinking. So an octopus is a lot like a spider. It's just kind of one that lives underwater. We think of them as mysterious. We might think of them as a little dangerous. But above all, they're an animal that hides in the shadows, and they're an animal that sticks to stuff. And if we look at the design choices I've made, it's really kind of the same central element. I just repackaged it into a different animal. It still focuses on a surveillance laser eye, and it still has four legs, and it still has the general same layout and proportions of the previous one. It's just a little bit weirder, and based on the last bit of feedback I got, that's the direction we needed to go in. So we could call this a relatively painless change. It meets the new design requirement, which is it's not a spider, while still meeting all the old design requirements. So let's take a look at these three drafts of the spider drone. First, there was one that was unrestricted by limitations. It's the one that looks most literally like a spider. It's got naturalistic proportions. The next one needed to follow much tighter guidelines. And what that means is that I ended up really emphasizing this central lens element. Take a look at how much smaller these eyes are, which are sort of more spider-like, compared to this one where it's much more mechanical but this was just to call a specific functional detail to the player's attention. I wanted to make it really obvious. And then the final one is really more of just a superficial change. It still emphasizes the same functional components that the second draft did. It just does it with a different wrapper. But if we were to compare these, picking between these is sort of arbitrary. You're just picking a favorite shape. And more than that, I might personally, as the artist who made these, I might have an affinity for, you know, the second one. 
not for any particular reason, just that, you know, when I was drawing it, something about this little detail here just felt really good. And so I might want to stick with this one. But that's not my job. As a concept artist, the job is to work with the challenge you've been given, the bullet points in the text, and to problem solve. And on that note, let's take a look at your homework. So Ryan's come back, and even though you've made your second draft, there's a bit of a change of plans. So let's read your updated brief here. We've reevaluated the enemy lineup and realized that we have a really poor representation of females. We've determined that the brute is best positioned for redesign that supports a female enemy. Everything else remains the same. That is an interesting change. So I have full confidence that you'll come up with an interesting twist on your last revision with this, remembering to change as little as you can, and keep in mind those strategies that I showed in the demo. A copy of this homework is available as a PDF. Just follow the link below. But most of all, have fun with this. Take your time, and when you're done, I'll see you in the next lesson.